In this video, I want to tell you some of the measures we take in Climax to increase the possibility that maximums will be scored and wickets will be taken. After all, these must be deemed the most exciting parts of cricket, for if you watch any highlights of a test match or one day um, international, surely you will be shown the wickets and the um, maximum of the boundaries, particularly those that are awarded six runs but going over the boundary without bouncing. Now, in climax, we initially decided that the boundary should be symmetrical, i.e., the leg side boundary and the offside boundary should be similar distance. This involved restricting the boundary a little at some grounds. As a rule of thumb, we've been using a 40 yard boundary for village cricket and considering a 50 yard boundary for um, club cricket and would suggest that perhaps with professionals they perhaps use 60 yards according to availability of ground space and how the game works out. In terms of making it easier to take wickets, we have some interesting variations on traditional cricket rules. These might come as a bit of a shock, and some of you will not like them, but they seem to add to the fun and seem to achieve what we wish them to. The first one I'm going to tell you about is that a batter may be caught off any part of his body, all the clothing, all the protective equipment he's wearing, as well as from his bat, or the gloved hand holding his bat. An example would be if a ball glances the bottom of a batsman as it passes down the leg side and is taken by the wicketkeeper. If it hasn't bounced after hitting the batsman, this will be given out caught. The other rule is regarding leg before wicket, LBW. In climax, all the umpire needs to consider is that the ball has been prevented from hitting the stumps of the batsman by a part of his body other than the hand holding the bat. And it doesn't matter actually whether it's hit the bat before hitting the body. So, for example, in the unlikely situation of the batsman attempting a cut and getting an under edge and the ball going onto his back foot, if the umpire deems that that ball would have then gone on to hit the stumps had it not hit his back foot, he could give him out LBW. If you care to watch some of the other videos in this series, you will learn some of the other interesting rules that we have in Climax that makes it different from traditional cricket. Thank you for watching.